Derek, before we move on from uh, party politics, you picked uh, a piece in the Business Post. There's an interview with Pascal Donoghue. Yep. Um, the headline is uh, Sinn Féin poll slide will continue, but really it's Pascal Donoghue making his usual plea for the centre, isn't it? And saying, look around the world. Yeah, no, it is. And, and, and like Pascal is extremely good on this on this, uh, this this issue with the rest of it. This has been a drum he's been beating for a long time. And you can see this is where Fine Gael sees the way forward for themselves. Uh, one of so, the things that, that, so that change uh, is going to be one side of the argument and their argument is going to be stability. Yeah. And, and it's not always change that, that you need. And there are don't change horses in midstream. There's a whole string of... Uh, phrases that have been used and that and the rest of it is well begun is half done and or half done is well begun yeah, a lot done more to well, do yeah, yeah, a lot done there. more to do which was the, which was the version that, that came out of a face of, of, of uh, a, a discussion group that Fianna Fáil got its slogan from and it's a, it was a really powerful one and it, it caught the mood at the time but what I actually found was fascinating is that it's described I think as a a, a bold prediction um, that Pascal only says that Fine Gael will probably get more than 33 seats after the next election well, there's 16 extra seats in the doll. If Fine Gael gets 34 seats, it effectively has lost three. If it gets 35 seats, it's effectively lost two. It would need to get 38 or more to actually increase its seat total. So saying that, oh, we're getting 33 or more seats. That's not, but that's, I think it's management of expectations. And because the one thing that's consistent across all the polling is that whether you see, Fien- whether you say, whether you think Fianna Fáil's at 18% or 20% or whatever, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael are both below where they were at the last general election and that was a bad result for both parties. Sinn Féin is above where it was at the last general election, nowhere near as high as it was last year and at various points, but it is still ahead of that. And that means their seats changing and their seats moving from the government side to the opposition side. OK, I'll just give people the, the um, part, state of the parties in that poll today. OK, so Sinn Féin is at 27% down two. Fine Gael up one at 20%. Fianna Fáil up one at 18%. Social Democrats up two at 7%. Labour no change at four. The Green Party up one at three. Solidarity People Before Profit down one at two. A and two down one at two. And Independence and others 17% and they are down one. There's, now, another, there's another question that, the, that, they, that um, the Ireland thinks and the Sunday, Sunday poll constantly ask us, which is your preferred choice of government. And this is the fourth so, choice. Yeah. yeah, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Fáil this is the fourth choice. And in that one, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael are up. Because oftentimes what you find in a poll that party support isn't the indicator of the likely voting intention. Mm-hmm. It is that government satisfaction and what kind of government do you think is going to come in. Yeah, and I so, think that so would, be, that would the, show some good news. The for fourth choice Fáil Fáil, uh, yeah. for Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, Green, the existing government, which I think the Sinn Féin-led government excluding Fine Gael and Fianna fall were ahead in the last yeah. one it's now 43% up 5 for the current government yeah. whereas it's 39% down 4 for a Sinn Féin government excluding uh, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. Okay well look the, um, the 